Hey, my name is Yuri, and today I would like to present you a release management application for Jira. We will start from explanation why we have created the application and what the problem will be solved by using it. After that, uh, we will share with you how to create and manage cross-project releases and any other complex releases in Jira. Uh, we will also discuss about managing release and version workflows and uh, dive into details uh, regarding uh, release scope management and tracking the progress at each moment of time. At, at the end, uh, we will present you a roadmap and share ideas how we can use roadmap for tracking and planning purposes. In the following videos, uh, we will present automated release notes generator. Also, we will share a few ideas on how to centralize environments management in your company. Reports and gadgets can help you to build insightful release dashboards in Jira and Confluence. And hooks and third-party integration can help to integrate release management uh, with source control, continuous integration server, and many other tools in your company. At, at the end, we will share a few tips and tricks on how to improve release management in your organization. I would like to mention that this video is quite long as we have prepared a lot of features for you. So if you would like to learn about particular functionality, please use time codes in video description so you can save a lot of time. Let's start. It might be interesting for you why we have decided to create the app. Let's try to figure out. Jira is a quite powerful tool for software teams, but unfortunately releases functionality was not changed for a very, very long time and according to my opinion, it does not fit reality at the moment. The reason of that is that in the past, majority of software systems were monolithic, so only one release, one monolith, so deployed to only one environment, and now uh, you can see majority of systems are based on microservices, consist of multiple components, and in order to release the system, we need to uh, develop and release a set of components which should be integrated, tested, and after that uh, published to production altogether. Another thing is that in Jira, fixed version or release is coupled to the project. So if, uh, I need to create a version only in context of the project. And uh, if I have a lot of components which are owned by multiple teams, I need to track multiple versions in order to understand if my business functionality is done or not. So I don't have simple way out of the box uh, to track multiple versions from multiple projects in the single place and to see what is the progress. So this was the first limitation which pushed us to create a release management application. Another limitation which we saw at that moment of time uh, was having only two statuses of uh, versions, a released and unreleased. For sure, it's not good enough. So as uh, majority of teams, especially in regulated businesses, required more complicated workflow with set of steps which could be defined and also permissions will be assigned for each of the steps. So having uh, these two limitations uh, in mind, we started creating of release management application. The first two features which has been implemented were the ability to visualize cross-project releases or versions on the Kanban board and also implement extended custom workflow for versions and releases. Let me show you. A user can create multiple release boards in the application. Each board could be dedicated for product or to business line in order to bring proper focus. Each board at the same time could be created based on the data from multiple Jira projects. So we can aggregate data from many projects in the same place and be able to manage them. So we can see a Kanban board and on the Kanban board you could see versions. Each card is one version which are coming from several projects like from CS project, from EC project and from DDS. And all of them visualize it in easy and handy way. From the same board, we can spot uh, what is status of uh, each particular version and uh, what is the progress. For instance, let's take a look on registration service 1.2. Uh, we can see uh, what is the progress of the version, so how many items are done in progress and in to-do, and also observe the issues. Also, versions could be filtered by tags, so we can arrange them in many different ways. You may realize that at my Kanban board, I have a lot of statuses here. So let's see how I can configure them. It could be done very easily in configuration. 
menu and uh, here you can see all statuses which I have defined so far. There are a lot of freedom to create any new status and map them to legacy, unreleased and released status. So you can just do integration between release management and standard Jira functionality. Also, good thing that uh, you are able to define transition between statuses and uh, apply a restriction who can do each particular transition. The same as in a standard Jira, you can define any transition to a particular status or just kind of define any outcoming transitions. Again, so any restrictions could be applied and uh, you can configure it according to your need and your workflow. So if you want to restrict you know, moving uh, versions from one status to another to certain group of people, you can easily do so. Another thing, you can define uh, actions uh, which will be coupled to the transition. For instance, at some stage you want to generate release nodes, so you could be able to force release node generation at this stage as well. But what about complex releases where a business value could be achieved only after releasing multiple versions? For sure, it's very convenient to see uh, all versions from multiple projects at the same board. Also, as I have mentioned before, you have capability to arrange all of them by using tags or search by using search functionality. But sometimes we have a need to, to track cross-project release, which will involve multiple versions from multiple projects or create package from multiple versions, which has to be released in order to achieve business functionality. So what to do in this case? Good news that release management has feature to cover this case. This feature called releases. Let's try to simulate the first case when I need to plan cross-project release and release it as one piece of functionality. Let's imagine that I would like to create a new Canadian regulation and new Canadian regulation required work from core services, also mobile native application and data distributor service. I want to start at beginning of March and my forecast is that everything will be done by end of May. Good. So I just creating a release and I have defined that projects which will be involved in this release. At this stage, I can see that release management offered me to create versions with the same name in each project. When I press save button, confirmation will appear. And yeah, by confirming, I will create all versions in corresponding projects and they will appear in the application. So I can see my release here and I can see that all the labels are gray. So it means that all versions has been already created. I can justify it by moving back to version board, apply streamlines. So then all the versions will be arranged according to the releases. And here I can find my Canadian regulation with all versions which are created in corresponding projects in core services, mobile native application and data distributed service. So no need to jump here and there and create all of them manually in each particular project. Also, I guess majority of you has already realized that I did a big mistake. I wrote Canadian regulation instead of Canadian regulation. So if you have already spotted it, please write about that in the comment. But what to do now? You see that uh, such mistake was propagated to every project and each version in the project called in the same way. So should I come to each particular project and update the version manually? For sure, no. We have a synchronized version functionality and synchronized version functionality can help us to update name, description, start and release date in automatic way, just to keep all the versions in sync and between multiple projects. So let me kind of fix my mistake. So now everything should be fine and our ATA is not good enough and we may need to postpone our release by 18th of June. So I will update the date as well. We see the work was done. Let's navigate back to version board and double check if my mistake was uh, properly fixed everywhere. Right now we can see that Canadian regulation is written in a proper way. Uh, release date was also updated properly. If uh, I will update one of the versions, uh, I will get warning on uh, release level that uh, one of the versions are not synchronized and uh, I will be offered to synchronize all the dates across the uh, entire release. Let's simulate another case uh, when I need to create a package of multiple versions which are already created and track them as one entity. Again, I am creating new release and let's call it uh, my package. And in my package, I can choose again projects which I would like to use. 
but instead of creating new versions, I can just drop them and select already created versions, uh, which I would like to track in scope of my release. Let's imagine that I would like to track the following versions from core services. I will do the same for mobile native application. So you know, I can just choose a couple of versions from here and maybe from uh, European Union customization project added here a GDPR and save it again. And uh, if I will find my package, I could be able to see total progress across all the versions which I have selected here and also explore all issues in the single place from all the versions. Also, I would like to admit that I can easily manage a scope of a version or a release from issues tab. For instance, let's try to add a new item to a version from our release. So let's choose Canadian regulation. I would like to add a task my new task and create it. You can see that new task appeared here. Also, I can edit already existing item, again choose the version and uh, search for items which I would like to edit. Again, the item appeared here. The same uh, approach will be used with removing. So if I would like to uh, remove some items from my release, I can easily do it from uh, issues menu and after a refresh they will disappear. So what is the main idea behind uh, functionality with versions and releases? In versions on the version board we could be able to track uh, atomic releases of uh, each particular component so and each particular system because each component has to be versionized and uh, we need to plan and track versions of each component. But at the same time, in order to release complex business functionality, we can use releases and combine multiple versions into one big entity, into one big package, which could be tracked with own workflow. Because quite often, in order to release business functionality, we need to do extra level of integration testing, maybe do regulator approval. Also, we may get a business approval before releasing it to production. And workflow for releases could be created in absolutely the same way as for versions, including new step definition, definition of transition. Also, we can apply restriction to each of them and trigger release nodes for release when it will reach certain state in the workflow. Another thing uh, which could be very valuable uh, here is that uh, we can include multiple releases to the version. So for instance, one version like Canadian Regulation V1 can belong to multiple releases. So it would help us uh, to reuse the components and track them at once uh, if we need to use the same component for multiple business releases and to multiple business functionality. So just to summarize, uh, we have releases functionality which can uh, define set of versions in order to achieve business value and we have versions which can track uh, progress of uh, each particular component and ensure uh, track release cycle on version level. According to statistic, majority of people are visual learners. Plus, release planning and tracking is all about dates and timelines, so the best way to represent such information is a roadmap view. Let me present it. Let's take a look at our example with Canadian regulation. We can see a start and release date of entire release. Also, we can see start and release date of each version which belong to the release. And in addition, you can see green, amber and blue lines which indicate actual progress. So if you compare actual progress with today marker, you can see if you release and version behind the schedule or ahead or just kind of moving according to the plan. But this view is not only for representation, so we can use it in in order to plan your releases. For instance, I want to reschedule it a bit. So just kind of like quickly move start date of my release here. So synchronization is turned on. So automatically all versions will be moved here. But if I don't want to do so, I can just kind of come to edit feature, disable synchronization. And after that, I can manually arrange all my versions inside the release in the way I want. For instance, I believe that Canadian regulation in one 
core services projects and in uh, mobile native project uh, will start at the same date. Mobile native team will finish a bit later, but at the same time, core services has to finish a bit earlier. And only after that, in the, our projects for data distributor service, we can start work when uh, this version will be finished. So now I just kind of moved all my versions according to my wish, and uh, all the dates uh, has been automatically changed in all corresponding projects. So I can use my roadmap view as a visual tool which can help me to build and arrange my work. Thank you very much for watching us. I hope this video was interesting for you. To be honest, this video is the first uh, our video in such format and uh, we would like to uh, improve the next videos. So we would be really, really happy to listen to your feedback. Please send us email or leave comments on YouTube. It will help us a lot. Thank you very much and stay tuned.